Okay, who are you? My name is Lauren Williams slash Angel Williams slash Angelina Love. <laughs> okay, how'd you get, how'd you and Sin meet? I met Sin probably about eight years ago. We um, both trained together at the same, actually we met before we started training at uh, Squared Circle. We did a few indie shows together um, and uh, then we started training together. His brother and one of our friends was running a training school in Toronto called Squared Circle Training and uh, we started training together and doing a lot of the same shows together and um, I think we became friends pretty quickly and we started doing a lot of the same shows and uh, just we would always after practice go hang out at his brother's house and it was like a pretty tight-knit bunch when we were training there and um, we started riding together we would do um, Scott Demore's BCW shows in Windsor Ontario there's a lot of there was a lot of shows around Ontario that were using the same talent so we were usually always on the same shows any road stories about you guys Tell me about where you got your nose ripped off. Oh my gosh. Um, one of, I wouldn't say it was my worst injury, but one of my definitely oddest and most memorable injuries was uh, I was working an indie show um, in Welland, Ontario. And it was, actually I can remember when it was, it was November 2002. And I was working Tracy Brooks. And uh, we had a pretty good match planned out. And I was baby faced and she was the heel. And uh, we were, just chaining around at the beginning of the match and she did this um this arm bar takedown uh, the other the other members of the the death monkeys everybody's really cool you know i think it's cool when you i don't know i just odd is cool crazy is cool like i said as long as it's good crazy um bad seed slash blind seed i've known probably for about three years we trained in ww developmental together he moved from ovw to atlanta which is where i was um and uh, at first he's one of those kind of guys, like he doesn't really talk much and you're kind of like, is he nice, is he not nice? But he's like one of those people where once you get to know him, he's like super badass and cool. And um, Titan I met down here in Tampa and uh, he's just like captain personality. Plus if you see the size of him, I mean, he's, he's kind of hard to miss. So I mean like they're all, they're all really cool guys who like doing really crazy freaky things just like Sin. Um, all good-hearted people, they know how to be real friends. Fuck you, buddy! <laughs> hey, this is Angel Williams, or Angelina Love, and put your kids to bed, everybody, because the following fucked up shit you're gonna see is brought to you by Dynamite Death Monkeys. Do it from this side. What do you think about the Devil's Night show? The Devil's Night show was very fun. That was actually the first show of the Death Monkeys that I was able to see because um, I was always working when they were having their shows. I missed them all, but um, it was it was really fun. It was up Bourbon Street, and I was the hostess with the mostest, and uh, we got to dress up. This was right before Halloween, and you know it was really cool to meet all the other freaky people in Tampa that I've been waiting to meet all the fun people and uh, there was some cool bands and I got to host it so I was in control which I like and it was it was uh, it was pretty crazy it was really fun what do you think of sin and his his whole style of stuff sin is a very interestingly artistically semi crazy character I guess you could say um, as far as like ideas and like I said, artistic would probably be the, the best way to um, describe Sin. Uh, he's always got crazy ideas. He's always thinking. I'm sure he doesn't sleep at night because I'm sure his brain never shuts off. Um, but he's always very creative and he's always very passionate about what he believes in and what he wants to do. And uh, this death monkeys thing would be very Sin-like which it is, it's his deal. Um, but all the crazy, carny, freaky, weird, magic, freak show stuff, that's just, that's right up his alley and it's what he wants to do. Well, one of the craziest things I saw on the show was um, from my own point of view when I was tied to a chair getting a lap dance from a 400 pound dude with abs thrown on his, uh, on his gut. 
<laughs> didn't see that coming. <laughs> um, but 